York County SPCA and the Humane Society International collaborated on a really cool project. The culture in South Korea is that they will, some people will raise dogs for meat and they will eat dog meat. And so the Humane Society International has been working with them to try to change their culture. And uh, it, it is becoming more taboo in South Korea, but still this is a practice that continues. So what they did was at the end of October, fly over to South Korea, bust up these dog meat farms, get about 200 dogs out of those farms and into a, uh, a quarantine facility in South Korea. And they quarantined there for two weeks. So that's how their journey began. And then uh, after the two week quarantine was up, they flew the dogs over to the United States where they had to quarantine for another two weeks. And then after that two-week quarantine was up, we brought nine of those dogs to our shelter to begin their behavior therapy, to get them back to health, and to start working with them on transitioning into becoming a loving dog. So they've been on quite the journey, and I would say that the completion of their journey will be finding a loving permanent home here in York County. These dogs came in skinny and in terrible health, and now we've added weight to them and have improved their manners. This is a story of resiliency. So some of these dogs uh, were isolated for their entire life from when they were born till they came to our shelter. And so everything that they've experienced here has been for the first time. It's been really fun to see them witness these firsts, like seeing them have the feeling of walking on grass. It's been good to watch them walk on a leash and to learn just basic things like the English language, so English commands and nonverbal communication. So this this is a story of resiliency and transformation and so it's the reason why we why we do this work.